हेलो एवरीवन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस जीम्सा स्टेन जीम्सा स्टेन प्रोसीजर्स प्रिंसिपल एंड यूजेस सो जीम्सा स्टेन इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ रोमिनोस्की स्टेन एंड इट इज नेम्ड आफ्टर जर्मन केमिस्ट एंड बैक्टीरियोलॉजिस्ट गुस्टव जीम्सा सो आफ्टर द नेम ऑफ केमिस्ट एंड बैक्टीरियोलॉजिस्ट गुस्टव जीम्सा इट इज नेम्ड जीम्सा stain jimsa stain is a differential stain that contains a mixture of azure methylene blue and eosin dye this stain is specific for phosphate group of dna and attaches itself where there are high amounts of adenine thymine bonding so basically jimsa stain it has the affinity for binding to dna phosphate groups of dna where there is adenine thymine bonding azure and eosin eosin they are acidic dye so they stain the basic components that is cytoplasm and the granules while the methylene blue as it is basic dye it will stain the acidic components that is nucleus methanol it acts as fixative as well as cellular stain it stain the cell so the composition of jimsa stain so ingredients present in jimsa stain are jimsa powder glycerol and methanol jimsa powder is 7.6 g per liter glycerol 500 ml methanol 500 ml so jimsa stain is basically composed of jimsa powder glycerol and methanol now the preparation of stock solution place about 100 methanol cleaned glass beads into a dark or amber color bottle so in a glass bottle we place about approximately 100 glass beads that are cleaned with the methanol then in the bottle we add 7.6 g of jimsa stain powder and pour it into the bottle containing the beads through a funnel then gently pour 200 ml of methanol out of 500 ml first we will pour 200 ml of methanol ensuring that all the dry stain dry jimsa stain is washed into the bottle tighten the screw cap on the bottle and shake it in circular motion for 2 to 3 minutes to start dissolving the stain crystals after that add 500 ml of glycerol through the funnel shake again for 3 to 5 minutes after that you add remaining 300 ml of methanol to the mixture through the funnel then tighten the screw cap on the bottle it should be tightly capped all the time to prevent absorption of water vapor and to avoid evaporation and oxidation of the stain by high humidity so it is very important to tighten the screw cap of the bottle about 6 times on first day continue shaking for 2 to 3 minutes each so on the first day of preparation you have to shake continuously for 2 to 3 minutes for 6 times a day then shake for at least 7 days every day for 2 to 3 minutes about 6 times each so for at least one week you have to shake it regularly 6 times a day for 2 to 3 minutes each label the bottle clearly with batch number name of the person who prepared the stock date of preparation and date of expiration 
store it in cool place away from the direct sunlight so you have to place it away from direct sunlight now the working solution of jimsa stain working solution should be freshly prepared from jimsa stock solution depending upon method of staining used to stain malaria blood films working solution is either 10% for rapid method or 3% for slow method so preparation of working solution place 90 ml of pre prepared buffered water 90 ml of buffered water with ph 7.2 into a clean beaker or a tube then filter the jimsa stock solution through Wattman filter paper number one, and transfer it to a twenty-five to fifty ml container. Add ten ml of Jimsa stock solution using a clean, dry pipette. Prepare the working solution just before staining, and use it within fifteen minutes of preparation. To prepare three percent Jimsa working solution, mix ninety-seven ml of buffered water and three ml of stock solution. Now coming to staining of slides. Staining of slides for thin blood smears. Fix air-dried film in absolute methanol by dipping the film in a Coplin jar containing absolute methanol. Two dips are sufficient. So first of all, you have to fix the air-dried film in absolute methanol remove it and let air dry then stain with working jimsa solution wash by briefly dipping slide in and out in coplin jar of buffered water one to two dips are sufficient let air dry in vertical position so after air dry fix the slide or film in methanol Let it air dry. Stain with working Jimsa solution for at least thirty minutes. Then wash by briefly dipping slide in and out in Coplin jar of buffered water. Let it air dry in vertical position. Now for thick blood smears, allow the film to air dry thoroughly for several hours or overnight. Do not dry in an incubator or by heat because this will fix the blood. and interfere with lysing of rbcs do not fix the thick films stain with diluted jimsa stain for at least 50 minutes wash in buffered water for 3 to 5 minutes and let it air dry in vertical position so we do not have to fix the thick blood smears and allow the film to air dry thoroughly for several hours and stain is for at least 15 minutes then wash in buffered water for 3 to 5 minutes now uses of jimsa stain jimsa stain is commonly used to demonstrate cellular elements in peripheral blood and bone marrow smears so the cellular elements wbcs platelets rbcs and its use in microbiology is for staining inclusion bodies in chlamydia trichomatis to stain yersinia pestis histoplasma capsulatum pneumocystis gyrovaci and klebsiella granulomatis it is also used in cytogenetics to stain chromosomes in g banding in parasitology it is used uh, for staining of plasmodium babesia trypanosoma microfilaria leishmania and toxoplasm so jimsa stain is very important to demonstrate the cells in the peripheral blood and the bone marrow then in microbiology it has important use to see histoplasma capsulatum chlamydia trichomatis etc in chromosome abnormalities to detect chromosomal abnormalities 
it is very important or diagnostic application to see the malarial parasite microfilaria leishmania etc so this is the photograph showing the jimsa stain for detection of the cellular elements in pbf and bone marrow jimsa stain showing leishmania donovanae internal nuclei of cyst borrelia and plasmodium falciparum these are leishmania donovanae with kinetoplasts this is the jimsa stain showing histoplasma capsulatum this is all about jimsa stain thank you